Hi everyone, this is the Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Guys, welcome back to part two of the craft tote bag. Um, we, we left off working on the pockets and yours should look like mine right now. See all the pockets are just flopped open. That's what they're supposed to look like. Now, these side pockets do not have the closure for them, the ones on the side. So you can go ahead and glue those down and that's what we're gonna start with. So we can take a little bit more control of our box situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and add glue to the um, sides right here to glue it down. One thing I did do though, guys, I took a pair of scissors, I folded my uh, pocket accordion portion down and I did snip the corners to remove a little bit of the bulk there at the bottom uh, you don't have to but I did that to mine so I'm going to go ahead and add glue to the sides and we're going to glue these go ahead and glue these down and I'm going to do both at the same time that way I can hold them down together and I don't have to worry about the placement of my pocket because it's already glued down at the base so I'm just going to fold these in and flip it over and actually I'm going to set it down right here and you can either take your hand and just press it down. They're not going to move from where you have them because the base of your um, pocket is already glued down or you can take a burnishing tool and just go ahead and burnish. Make sure they stay put. So there's that one. One pocket in. See, it's an accordion pocket. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. We're just going to add glue and close it up. I like to add plenty of glue, and I do like to use glue when I do uh, stuff like this because I kind of feel like that tape sometimes comes undone, and the glue doesn't. So that's why I do glue. So I'm just going to fold these accordions in and close the pocket back up. Lay it on its side and just press down for a little bit. Make sure the pockets are nice and glued down. You can do rub it with your fingers or you can take your bone folder and burnish them. Make sure it's not going to come undone. Like this caddy, this tote bag is so easy to put together. And there you have your accordion pockets on both sides. Now, let's tackle the pocket in the back. Again, I did, as you can see right there, this was already, I already had it tapered down. I did taper the, the tips though, making sure that they don't show. Before I close up my pocket, that's what the pocket is going to look like closed. But before I close it, I need to add in the mechanism that's going to allow my, um, to allow my pocket to uh, slide up and down to open it. Now, if you have a big bee or a beehive or anything like that, we'll do a circle, a heart, a butterfly. I'm using this. It's it's not it's kind of similar to a brad. Now I did add two pieces of foam right there because if it's so flat, when I close my flap, it's not going to uh, allow room for the flap for the bee to slide up and down freely. So I added a couple of pieces of foam in there. This one's going to be a little tricky to, to do. Uh, but if you are following along with me and you are using um, just a sticker or something like that, then, you you know, it's going to be easy for you. For me, I just made it a little difficult for myself. So you're going to take the bigger piece of these oblong uh, shapes and I'm going to put it across the pocket. I'm going to flip it the other way so you can see it's going across, not up and down, but across. And I'm going to line it up there pretty much. Now I have to um, slide my, my uh, B in, but what you would do is just add dimensional tape to whatever you're using and glue it right down in the center of that bar. Because I made it difficult for myself, I have to work a little harder. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in there. And what that does 
it allows you to be able to slide your um, to slide whatever it is that you put on dimension there up and down see how it slides up and down and that's what you want it to do it feels like to me like I should have put maybe one more but I think I'm going to leave it like this uh, because I don't want it to be um, I don't want it to be too too uh, too loose so all I'm going to do to mine if you're using something like me all you have to do is bend these either in or out I'm going to do mine out so I'm just going to bend the prongs out being very careful not to rip. See, I ripped mine, so I'm going to have to replace mine. Nope, they got to go in. They have to go in. I ripped mine, guys, so I'm going to have to replace that. But uh, if it was, if, you, if you're doing yours, you don't have to bend anything. You're just going to tape yours to the outside of that strip, and that's it. For me, I'm going to have to get a replacement. Actually, let me just cut a piece of paper and show you how easy that is to fix. I actually have one right here. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm just going to cut a little tab. I'm going to use this blade. I'm just going to make a little cut there. So that little prong can go through it. And that's all I have to do to repair mine. I will probably go back after this and um, give it a little bit more attention. Okay, so I'm going to fold my prongs in. They need to be folded in onto the body of the bee. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. But like I said, if you're using a sticker, you don't have. You can skip this because you're not having to deal with the things that I'm making myself go through. Okay, so there's that. And what this does, now my bee can slide up and down. And when I slide it, it's going to close, hold down the flap to, where's my flap? So what it would do is when I put this in here, when I add this portion to it, the top flap, and I slide the bee up, it's going to hold the pocket closed if I slide it down it's going to go past the wings and it's going to open up so let me slide it down see how when I slide it down it frees the flap and then I can open it but if I want to close it then I would slide the bee up and the wings would hold the pocket closed so that's what you're going to do to yours but yours you know like I said it's just you're going to add dimensional tape you're going to glue the bar on the inside going across and whatever it is that you're opening it, your your pocket with that's going to go on the outside on dimensional tape to give you a uh, room and then all you're going to have to do is add glue and glue it down see all i have to do right here is just add glue and glue it down i'm not going to glue mine down yet because i really do need to go back and fix that little piece and i might have to add more glue so I'm just going to uh, do the front ones and I'm just gonna leave that one alone till I can get back to it okay so for the front ones again you have that those pieces cut out in your base color and in your designer paper the the part that you want to show through the opening in your pocket is going to be the same color that's on your side panels because when you slide it up and down you want to make sure that all they see is the designer paper if I were to line it in black it's a possibility that the black would show but this is what I want for it to show I want it to show the same print oops I keep grab grabbing the glossy accents I just need to move it out of my way and grab my glue so I'm going to add glue to my designer paper I'm going to glue it onto my black base layer just to give it a uh, strength. There's one and I should have another piece over here somewhere if I didn't lose it amongst all my mess that I have up here. And 
maybe I lost it. So I don't see my other piece, guys. Maybe it's up here. It'll, it'll turn up in a minute, I'm sure. I hope. <laughs> see, I have others here where I did the other trolley. Yeah, I don't see it. So let's do this one pocket. We're going to add this little strip going across. Even before we glue the pocket down. You have to do this before you glue the sides to your pocket down. So I'm going to take, I found these little paper clips in my uh, B stash. And this is what I'm going to glue as the opening for my um, pocket. So I'm just going to remove, I added two pieces of foam tape. I'm going to position this about the middle of that opening. I hope you can see that. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to flip it this way and I'm going to add my B to the center. This is all that you had to do in the back instead of giving yourself. See how easily the, bu the butterfly, the bee moves? That's what you want. So we're going to do that to the other pocket, but let me find my cutout first because I want to make sure that what shows is my pocket and not, I might have not had it. <coughs> I'm going to add glue. To the black portion right here because I can't find the other one. And I'm just going to make myself another one really, really quick. <sighs> just glue this down in place and then I'm going to trim around it. That's really all I have to do. It's not a biggie. We as crafters can improvise real quick. So see, I'm just going to... Because it really doesn't show, but you want to make sure that if any little bits and pieces do show... It's going to be the designer paper they see and not the black. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing to this one. Here's my paper clip again. I'm going to take the backing off. And I suggest that you add hot glue in between the layers of um, foam tape because mine came off on my other ones. So I will go back and add foam tape to this. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to position my piece going across the pocket. And then I'm going to glue my B to the center of that okay now we can close these pockets and watch me find my stuff after I'm done with this let me remove a little bit of this stuff because I have a big mess here and that's why I tend to lose things so let's go ahead and close one of the pockets down they're already in position I don't have to worry about anything because they are attached to the bottom of my box here is the top portion and I, what I like to do is I just like to line it up with my with my top of the opening right there. Use the mechanism to make sure that it's going to slide up high enough to hold the pocket closed. And it is. And then all I'm going to do is add glue and glue it down. That's all I'm going to do. So you can either glue it. To the tabs right here on your tote bag or to the back wall here just find the placement for it so so I'm just gonna find the placement for it as far as mine goes I'm going to add glue to the tab I'm going to position it on my pocket again really fast because this glue tends to dry real fast. And I'm going to hold it down, making sure that my pocket is pretty straight. See, I use the pocket as the uh, my guide so my tab would be straight. So there's that. So the tab is glued on now. I can use... The placement of this one for the other one, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to redo the same thing. So now I can go back and add glue to the accordion piece on my pockets. 
on both sides and I'm going to glue it down. I hope I didn't get glue on the inside. And this pocket will be complete. It's harder when you're doing a tutorial because when you're not, when you're not, you have more time to get things straight and have a closer look. You can pull your project towards you versus when you're uh, doing a video, you have to hold it underneath the camera or the phone. So there's the pocket closed up, guys. All I have to do is pull down the tab, close the tab or the top part, slide my B up, and there it is. It's closed. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to leave it open just to give the glue enough time to dry. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Here is the top of the pocket. Let's go ahead and add the glue. Close the accordion part down and line up the top of that pocket. And I'm going to flip it in and line it up as far as the height goes. I want it to be lined up with my previous pocket. That looks about right, right there. So I'm using the top of this pocket to line this one up. See how they're, this one looks like it might need to go down a little bit. Yeah, there, that's good. Let's open this pocket. I'm going to hold it down, make sure it's glued down. And it's kind of hard for me to put it down and burnish it because I already have the closure here and I don't want to damage that. So that should be nice and glued down. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to add glue to the accordion sides of the pocket. On both sides. I didn't trim this one down because I was going to show you that you could cut it off and I didn't on this one. But regardless, it still works, guys. You don't have to do that. But I think that it removes a little bit of the bulk. So I'm going to close the pocket up. And there it is. Here are my pockets. I'm just going to apply pressure to make sure it's glued down. Just burnishing the sides here. I mean, I could... Probably turn it down, but I can feel the bump on the from the butter from the bee that's here. So I'm just gonna hold it up and maybe grab my tool, put my hand in there, and then I can burnish it a little bit, making sure these pockets are not gonna come undone. So there you go. In order to close these, all we do is close the top flap, slide your bee or butterfly or whatever you happen to to have used and your pockets are closed again if you're going to do this make sure to add hot glue to the foam uh, to both layers of the foam in between the two layers plus the one that's attached to that uh, little bar that's going across because it will uh, come undone because especially when you're using heavyweight paper it tends to want to open up because of the accordion on the side so you have to make sure that you add glue and it's going to hold. But look at how cute those pockets are. There are the side pockets. Let's finish this one right here. Um, I do need to go back and fix it, but I can probably fix it afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it with y'all. Again, I'm just going to take my pocket. I'm going to line it up with the opening that's on the center of my pocket. And I'm going to add glue to the flap. I'm going to hold it there in place. And I'm just going to add glue to that top flap, to the closure. Keep getting glue on everything. Make sure it's straight. That it's where I want it to be. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit further down. And this one doesn't have any gussets. But it's still hard to set it down and apply pressure uh, because of the large B I have there. So I'm just going to apply pressure with my hand and burnish it. So that's that. The last thing we have to do is add glue to the sides of the pocket and close it up. And I will go back after the video, like I said, and add hot glue to 
the uh, bees that I decided to use because I don't want them to come undone. And I did a bee one because I do want to work on some bee themed things. So there, burnish the pockets. Do the same thing on both sides, making sure that it doesn't come undone. My big old fat thumb is stuck in there. So see when I close this and I slide the bee up, the wings on the bee are going to hold the pocket closed. Now this should go up a little bit higher. Looks like it's getting caught up. But I will have to go back and, you know, we got to go back and tweak those little things that tend to get in the way like that. But pretty much it, there you go. I think it was just not glued down right. The, um, the layering piece wasn't glued down right there in that corner, so it was getting stuck. But there is that closure on that one. I love it. I love the way it looks. There's the side pocket. Here are the two front pockets. And I made one more piece for mine. Um, and I wanted to add a little bit of gold right here. So I, I made one more piece to go here. But I'm not sure if this is the right color of gold that I like. And this fits just right above those pockets. And that would be the, the little liner there. But that's all I did to my box, guys. That's how easy it was to put together. Again, uh, you can do the way I did here, just adding the foam tape to the paper clips. Or if you have a bee embellishment, but make sure that the wingspan or something is wide enough to hold the flap down. So if this was a little skinny bee like these... It wouldn't hold it down because the wings are made of vellum and they're so narrow. But because the one that I use is wider, it can be a chipboard piece too. But the one that I use, the wings are wider so it holds closed the pocket because of how wide it is. See, if it was too skinny, it would just fall through this little gap right here. But because the wings are open like that, it holds it closed. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that those of you who bought the file that this helps you and I thank you. I really appreciate it. I know there was a question. Somebody bought it and couldn't open it in their silhouette. I went on my silhouette because I do own a silhouette and I was able to open it. But if you have any problems, just message uh, Abby, who is the owner of the shop, and she will... Uh, figure something out for you even if she has to email it personally to you that way uh, we don't want you to waste your money on a file that you can't open we open we want to make sure that you can open it thank you so much for watching i hope that this helps you and that it gave you ideas everyone have a great day and god bless bye